Hey, can you help me please? Hello? Is someone there? Yes, I just need a second. Hey, can you help me please? Hello? Is someone there? Yes, I just need a second. Hey, can you take a break? Yeah. Where's your uniform? I'll explain everything. In private. At home. What's this all about? You're kind of freaking me out. Well, be prepared to be even more freaked out. What are you talking about? Hey. Oh my god. So, given everything, we believe that your comics are directly or indirectly influencing actual events in our world. Riverdale, where we are from. Me and my friends have even, well, we have superpowers, like in your comics. I believe you. I believe in the multiverse. I believed in multiverses since before it was cool. Can we ask where you got your inspiration for your comics? And for these specific powers? I, I felt like these powers were good fits for their characters, like um, extensions of their particular personalities. What about your villain, Percy the Perverse? Where did he come from? A recurring nightmare. Okay, how do the super teens defeat him? Well, as a matter of fact, check this. These are some rough pages from my latest issue. I call it Death of the Super Teens. In the end, after this epic battle, Percy kills them all. Why? Why would you write something so bleak and nihilistic? Well, honestly, it was, um, it was kind of a, a deal I made. I wanted to be the greatest comic book writer in the world, bigger than Alan Moore, even. And it worked, but in exchange, and I was kind of tricked, but I agreed to only write stories of a certain type. Grim ones, ones that would ultimately <clears throat> darken the world. What kind of person would offer you a deal like this? A guy named Mr. Cypher? He's the devil, right? Uh, yeah, basically. Jughead, my friend in the suite hereafter warned me about someone named Cypher. Where is Cypher now? I think he has a suite at the Babylonium? Yeah, no, he's playing in a chess tournament tonight. It's being called the ultimate battle of good and evil.